I, I want to talk about something that's happening a little closer to home, and of course I'm talking about Cuba, because there will be a transfer of power very soon now. Raul Castro is stepping down with a hand-picked person that is going to lead the party and, and the country as well. Do you see this as an opportunity perhaps for change, more change coming out of Cuba? Well, this is very likely just a cosmetic change. I don't anticipate any fundamental reforms in Cuba, but sure, any time uh, that uh, a dictator is in some way relinquishing power, uh, there could be an opportunity. And uh, not that the, the Cuban government is looking for any opportunities, but uh, any time uh, uh, someone who has been in power for a very long time, in this case Raul Castro together uh, with his late brother, the dictator uh, Fidel Castro, uh, he is moving on. A new generation is coming into power. I don't have high hopes for these people. I think that uh, their goal is uh, the same as uh, uh, what's been the Castro's goal for uh, about 60 years now, which is to oppress the Cuban people and to do everything they can to maintain power. Uh, but uh, what we do need is for the United States and the rest of the world to stand in solidarity with the Cuban people. And during this important time in Cuba, because without question, uh, this is a significant change. Someone with the name of Castro, by the name of Castro, will not be uh, the, uh, the head of government. Uh, the, uh, the Cuban people need the solidarity of the rest of the world and the way so many countries are stepping up and saying what's happening in Venezuela is unacceptable. They also have to recognize that what's happening in Cuba is unacceptable because it is, quite frankly, one in the same. And I'm hopeful, Jackie, that uh, we can get American diplomats back in Cuba as quickly as possible to help those opposition leaders, those courageous dissidents uh, who are doing everything they can uh, to create that change in Cuba. Uh, our American diplomats have for many years been uh, the closest allies and friends, sometimes the only friends that uh, these uh, uh, brave men and women have. So I hope uh, that as soon as possible uh, we can get them back in there to do their important work. In the hearings in Washington, D.C., Mike Pompeo was asked specifically about Cuba, if he would continue uh, the relationship between the U.S. and Cuba and if he would like more trade to be going on between both countries. And he said that that's something he would definitely look into. Well, look, the focus of American foreign policy has to be to support uh, the Cuban people and specifically uh, the dissidents uh, that are standing up and demanding change in that country. Uh, relations uh, with Cuba uh, are only good when they help uh, the Cuban people. Uh, if they uh, help to strengthen the dictatorship, uh, to solidify uh, the dictatorship, then they are obviously counterproductive. So uh, what I would ask the administration is to continue promoting a policy in Cuba that advances U.S. interests and uh, obviously that stands in solidarity with the Cuban people.